Hey everyone, welcome to Up All Night DIY. I'm Monica, thanks for joining me. Today I'm making this really cute carousel with items from my stash. I'll be using two styrofoam discs, some pattern paper, cardstock, and corrugated cardboard trim, the kind teachers use on their display boards. Dowels, a skewer, these hobby horse printables, baker string, foam glue, glue dots, hole punch, ribbons, bottle caps, and scissors, hot glue, Mod Podge, float medium, sea glass and hippo acrylic paint, and Elmer's rubber cement. All supplies will be in the description box. Let's get into it. So first, I'm tracing circles onto some plain cardstock. This circle's about two inches bigger than my styrofoam discs. I need two at this size. I'll use rubber cement to adhere my pattern paper to the blank side of the cardstock. The stripes will be the top of the carousel and the check will be the base. So this paper is really thin, so gluing it to the cardstock will give it extra body. And I just completely cover the surface of my cardstock with the rubber cement. Then I just stick my pieces together, lining them up. I've cut my thin stripes and some cardstock to 7 inches and I'll glue them together too. This is going to be the center of the carousel. Then I'll coat all three pieces with Mod Podge. I do this to make the paper a more paintable surface. When the paper is dried, I'm going to cut out that circle on the back. Now I'll make a template by tracing my styrofoam disc onto some cardstock, and then I'll cut that out too. Once cut, I'll fold it in quarters, and then in half again, keeping the edges aligned. And I'll open it up. I'm using a pin tool to poke a hole in the center of my template. I fold it back into quarters and where the crease is in the center here, I'll punch a hole with my hole punch. Now I have four evenly spaced holes and I'll set that aside for later. With sea glass paint and float medium, I'll age my paper. I dip my brush into the float, working it into my brush. I'll side load by scooping some paint onto the corner of my brush. Then I'll stroke it back and forth on my plate. I'm just pulling my brush along the lines of the checks down the entire circle. This will help to dull down the brightness of the paper and I'll repeat this on the other paper as well. Also, the sea glass gives it a patina effect. I love this color. It's so vintagey. Now with Hippo Gray, I'll repeat the process to grunge it up a bit more.
Ooh, totally digging it. I'm going to use this styrofoam cylinder as the center pole to the carousel by wrapping it in my pattern cardstock. This is just packing material, so it was a freebie. I run a line of my foam glue on the very edge of my paper. I can't use hot glue here because it'll melt the foam, but once the paper is rolled over the foam, I will switch to hot glue. I make sure to keep my edges lined up and I make sure to glue the very edge of the paper so it's nice and tight. Now I'll trace my template onto the back of my checked circle, making sure it's centered, and I'll mark the holes onto the paper too, including that little center dot. I cut slits from the paper's edge to the line of the template edge. This is how I'll be able to fold those pieces over my desk. You'll see what I mean. I cut away the pieces that are in front of the hole marks. This will make it easier to get my hole punch in there. And then I punch my holes. And I fold those flaps following my circle's line, completely around. Okay, this is the stripe circle. I've marked the center point and I'll make a straight cut from the edge of my paper to that point. Now where the slit is, I'll take the pointed edge and I'll put a couple inches into the inside of the circle, forming a cone, keeping the edges lined up like this. I'll set that aside for now, but I wanted to show you what it'll look like. With Hippo, I paint one side, including the edges of one disc. and the edges and a little bit of the surface of the other desk. This one will be the bottom of the carousel, so it's gonna be covered in the checkered paper. I paint my dails with sea glass and I'll set them aside. I coat the top of the bottom disc and the back of the paper with Mod Podge. This is the check paper. And I place the paper on the disc, burnishing it with my hands. I fold up my flaps over the edge too. I've cut some vinyl strips with my silhouette to wrap in a swirl pattern down my dowels. You could use painter's tape too. I just didn't have any, not that size. And I wrap it all the way down to the very bottom. Once that's done, I'll coat the dowels with Mod Podge with a cosmetic sponge. This will keep the swirls crisp. Now I'll paint over the dowels with Hippo. 
and I'm using a cosmetic sponge again for this. When dry, I'll pull off the vinyl revealing the swirls. Whee! I place my check disc on top of the other disc and I'll push the dowels through both discs. This will help me to line up the dowels when I assemble the carousel. If I'd had them, I probably would have used the crunchy type of styrofoam. Doesn't make as big of a mess. These little balls are everywhere. Okay, so now I cut out my horses. I've printed four of each. Two sets I printed to mirror the other two sets. I'm going to use hot glue to glue them together, matching them up the best I can. And I'm leaving an opening in the center so that they can slide over the dowels. Again, you'll see what I mean. I'm taking my time with this, doing it in small se sections to keep it lined up as best as possible. And then I just slide my dowels right into that opening. Using both glue dots and hot glue, I'm going to encircle my discs with the corrugated cardboard trim. This is the stuff that teachers use, as I mentioned earlier. I got this for like five bucks at Michael's a couple years ago. I've cut the trim to encircle the disc and I'm placing my disc on a roll of tape to give me the space to add the trim. The edge of the trim will be flush with the top of the disc. To get me started, I added a little glue dot there. And then anywhere where there's a paper flap, I'll use hot glue. Where there isn't, I use the glue dots. I repeat this process on the top disc, but I'll use just glue dots since there's no paper on this disc. I want to add some aging and patina, so I'll dry brush the trim with my sea glass. I love the way this looks, and I do this to both the top and bottom. I'm adding details by hot gluing this really cute polka dot ribbon around the straight edge of both desks. By now I'm sure you can tell that I love mixing patterns. Okay, I didn't realize my battery had died, so I didn't get me trimming the scalloped edge with the cording. Sorry about that. I just hot glued it following the shape. I also glued the cording here around the edge of the check disc on the surface. I've cut vinyl circles and fleur de lis to fit inside my bottle caps. I'm going to use those to decorate the borders. So I've pushed my skewer into the center of my foam cylinder and I'll add a dab of hot glue and push the skewer through the disc right in the middle. I've pushed my dowels through so that they come out the bottom as feet because this carousel is stationary. Now I push my top disc into place lining up the dowels and the holes. I added the styrofoam balls as extra support but that was when the battery died. Also at that time I glued my striped circle into a cone shape and I added a wee flag in the center. I made it from a piece of scrap and a skewer. Now that it's assembled, I'll glue my bottle caps into place. I put them on every other scallop. And there she is, all finished. Who doesn't love a carousel? 
Takes us right back to childhood summers. This would be a fun birthday piece too. I'm making my own little fun fair display just to change up my summer decor a bit. Last week I made my hot air balloon ride. I'll link that video below. In next week's video, I'll continue the theme, so be sure to check back. I hope you enjoyed watching, and I hope you're having a happy, healthy, and fun summer. I really had fun making this project. So be sure to stay creative, my friends. Thanks for hanging with me. See you next time. Up all night with Monica.